What's going on everybody? I'm in the back of the truck, taking Ryan, Jeremy. We're heading to south of the border. We're gonna see the reaction, haven't been there in years. So come with us, let's go check it out. Well, dang, this sucks. This is my favorite place. So, so this is uh, this is where you wanted to go? South of border. How's that working out for you? So sad. <laughs> Ryan's peeing on my favorite place. I don't know what happened. But there is a store over there made out of a giant sombrero. So this is a steakhouse. It seems to be still kind of popular. It's a giant sombrero over the steakhouse. There are cars in the parking lot. You can see like, there used to be like a train used to get on and it would take you all around, you know, south of borders. Definitely isn't the place I remember years ago. There's Pedro. Uh, he's seen better days. This is, used to be the reptile place. They had like alligators and stuff like that you can go into, but it seems to be closed. See, so here it is, Reptile Lagoon next to a T-Rex. Got some giant chickens. Used to be able to go up to the top there and look out. Seems to be closed as well. The Mexico shop, I don't even think is even open. They do sell fireworks. That's what this was famous for. That's south of the border. Man, this place seems to be very run down from what I remember. It does appear that the Mexico shop is open. It says enter here. Go in this and is see. all the stuff they sell in the store. It's a lot of like uh, junky stuff, I guess, uh, that just has South of the Border name on it. Not too, not too much booming, just little knickknack things. I'm talking so much because they're playing music awfully loud in here and I don't want to get the video struck. Man, years ago, driving to Florida from up north, this used to be like the stop. Stop here and like get stuff, have some stuff to keep you busy in the car. Had fireworks, this place is like a ghost town now. It's like nothing out here. Everything's kind of closed down, looks really run down and I'm just literally walking by myself what it looks like an abandoned rest stop. Kind of crazy, kind of crazy. I, I went up there as a kid. I went up there. I remember my dad taking me up there. Now it's like an arcade and uh, it won't let you go to the top. Pool tables and arcades open. It seems to be empty. There's the mascot, Pedro. Supporting his public restrooms. And you can see the signs being lit up right over Interstate 95, south of the border. You can see this is hot tamale. This is open 24 hours, but we don't see anybody here. Chili dogs, beer, and one car back there. Well, that's about it. They used to have so much more to do here. I guess that's it. Fireworks, arcade, and knickknack shop. My buddies are waiting on me, so I guess it's time to go. This is awesome. This place is incredible. It's great. Energy. Yeah. So that's basically it. Everything is like closed. It's like a ghost town. I'm a little shocked. I mean, they even have a car wash. So basically you can stop here, stay at the hotel, which is kind of cheap, and get gas and maybe some snacks or a little bit of fireworks and that's it. The place looks run down. It looks not well. There's actually people sleeping in their car right there. So we're gonna leave. I thought it would be a lot better. For some reason when I came here as a child, there was a lot more to do. 
it was like mini golf and all kinds of stuff but i guess uh it's all closed up for the season or closed up for whatever i don't know off to the next adventure so what did you guys think of this place yeah. oh you know it was it was really cool you could tell there's a lot of it's a piece of shit this place sucks uh honestly there's nothing here there's was, more employees than there are it was guests. so cool when i was a kid for some reason yeah. there's actually people sleeping in their car around the corner uh it doesn't surprise me it maybe if well did they have fireworks at least did they have fireworks they had some fireworks in it that was the best part they had some uh man they had a bag of 72 m90s for twelve dollars, which if we weren't going to Boston, Massachusetts, I might buy them, fucking light them all up, shoot I mean, them at people on the uh, or throw them at people on the highway. Yeah, I, I would say um, my expectations have been subverted because Jay hyped this up to be like this amazing place with all this energy, dancing, music. Yeah, he's like, oh, you guys will love it. Oh, it's so fun. And, so I loved it. It looks like it sucks. A, <laughs> Word is, is uh, Call of Duty is going to design the next nuke town based on this area yeah. right here. It's that bad. Good I, mean, job, I, I liked Good a lot job, of the Jake. caricatures. Caricatures. I liked a lot of those. Uh, so there you have it. Don't go to south the border. In between North and South Carolina. Trash.